In this video, we will show you how to install and start your CNC milling machine. As an example, we are going to use the Watson 0609 Mini. Place the box with the machine in the area of its supposed installation. The distance from the walls should be at least 1.5 meters. 220 volt outlets to connect your machine and accessories and a ground point for your equipment should be located in the nearest access. To unpack the machine, you will need a screwdriver with an 8mm head. First, undo bolts around the perimeter of the lower part of the machine box. Use the screwdriver. Put the box away. The basic list of equipment includes four supports, a main controller, a controller connection cable, a USB cable, a set of cutters, a Euro plug adapter, a power cable, a spanner set, a collet set, a hold down tool set. Connecting the control unit. Unpack the control unit and connect the machine bed's plugs to the control unit. Connect plugs according to the markings on the plugs and connectors on the control unit. Connect the power cable. Place the control unit next to the machine's bed. Installation of the machine's supports. Lift one side of the machine and install the first pair of supporting legs. Then lift the second side of the machine and install the second pair of legs. Connecting the controller cable. Open the lid of the control unit and connect the connection cable of the main controller to the interface board inside the control unit. Connect the connection cable of the main controller to the controller. Connect the power cord to the power outlet. Connecting the spindle cooling system. Take two short silicon hoses. Connect the hoses to the barb fittings of the chiller. Take the cooling pipes of the chiller and put into the silicon hoses. Use plastic hose clamps to tighten all connections between the chiller pipes and silicon hoses. Switching on the main automatic cutout. Open the lid of the control unit and switch on the main automatic cutout of the machine. Initial startup. Start your equipment. Press out the emergency stop button. Press the green button on the control unit. Switch on the chiller. Nulling the position of the spindle by end sensors. After starting the machine, take the main controller Select All Axis Home and press OK. Make sure that the machine has performed the procedure of the nulling by end sensors correctly and the control panel is in the Home menu. Installing the cutter. Loosen the spindle nut with the spanner.
put the cutter into the nut and call it. Screw the nut with the cutter onto the spindle and tighten it with the spanner. Clamps for material. Assembly and installation of material clamps. Starting a control program. Take a USB drive with your control program. Press Run. Put the USB drive into the USB connector on your control unit. Select the U-Disk File menu item and press OK. Select the necessary file with control program and press OK. Check if the parameters are correct and press OK. Then run the program on your machine. 